the day. We got another entry into the Pink Slips Invitational event. There's no name on this box, but I got a feeling because of the colors of this tape, the Sheriff is in town. Sheriff has rolled into town. It's a good thing. He ain't got no jurisdiction here. <laughs> Diecast Sheriff is showing up at the JDC compound. The story here is Diecast Sheriff jumped into one of my live streams and we were doing test hits. That's what it was. It was a test hit session and um. I was going over what the, you know, what the pink slips thing was. Well, I, I told him he could enter, basically. Like, yo, if you want to enter, man, send me an email. And he's like, dude, I honestly have no idea what you guys are doing here. I just jumped in to see what's up. So I told him about it, and he was like, yeah, I'm in. He said, I am in. Right? So shortly thereafter, um, I received an email. And yeah, man, he emailed me and was like, I want to enter. I want to enter the Dare Me card. I went to his channel and I looked up the Dare Me video and I watched it. And uh watched it and I was like, yep, that'll do it, man. That will do if you want to get in, send it on out. 177. Asked him more in 177. Right when he said it's a little different. What else what everybody else is sending. Look at the paint job on this thing, guys. on this thing. It's got that splatter effect going on. Come around this side, it's got a white splatter that comes up the right side of the car. It's just got real over here, guys. Alright, Dike Sheriff <laughs> just sent in his pink slip. It is a coin. Federal Bureau of Investigations Sacramento Division. FBI, Sacramento Division, Department of Justice, FBI. And then number three is going to be number 32. So that's 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, die care sheriff. Die care sheriff. Number three, there you go. Number three is going to be Diecast Sheriff, rounding out heat two. And then you got number three, which is Diecast Sheriff. He's going to be on that inside row as well. SRS and Mike's Mods and Customs are going to fire off heat two with Kuda and King Nut and Diecast Sheriff in tow. SRS to pull a rabbit out of the hat. One, two, three, four, five. SRS crosses the line third, ends up locking into the bracket. Diecast Sheriff is gonna finish fourth, which will leave which will leave Kuda fifth in the Alright, so on the pole, we're gonna have Jim Silva. Jim Silva's gonna be on the pole for LCQ number one. Outside pole is going to be the diecast sheriff with his lights on. He's going to be on a mission now because there was questionable actions that went on. I'm sorry about that. Diecast, the winner of LCQ1, original diecast, is the second. And we got Diecast Sheriff, third. 
in the left lane. The die cast sheriff in that Aston Martin 177 Dare Me livery. And in the right lane, we got the Diecast Media Network Flying Valiant in the Wreckfest Chevelle. The right lane is red. The left lane is purple. Best two out of three. Everything's on the line here. Who is it going to be? is in sight for the sheriff. Can he put the nail in the coffin? It looks like he might. Chuck makes the run up to the door. The die cast sheriff chucks the deuces, crosses the finish line, and claims the pink slip on this wrecked fest Chevelle and transfers on to the tournament. He's going to take spot number 19, number 19, and he's going to square up against King Nut die cast cars in the bracket. So to kick it off, in the left lane, in that Porsche 935, we got King Nut die cast cars. In the right lane, in the Aston Martin 177, die cast sheriff. Who is gonna take it? Who's gonna move on to round two? We're about to find out. this guys oh my goodness gracious the die cast sheriff crosses the line with the right lane rolls a six the right lane rolls a six that's one two three king nut die cast cars is gonna state his claim and move on to the next round and claim the die cast sheriff's aston martin 177 the sheriff goes down the sheriff puts up a huge fight but he goes down, and not only does he lose the car, but he loses the challenge coin that he sent in to go with it. The FBI challenge coin. And that's going to go to King Nut Die Cash Car. King Nut's going to advance to the next round, and we are going to open up a garage for him. But that's not all, guys. The sheriff came, the sheriff came from the LCQ, the last chance qualifier, and he claimed a car to get into this bracket. He took down Flying Valiant. So that 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 um Chevelle in the Wreckfest Demolition Derby Derby livery is gonna go to the Dias Sheriff. Chip, I really appreciate you entering, man. I know that you're new to the channel. And um you kinda you kinda heard about the thing and was like, yeah man, I'm all in, right? So I really, really appreciate you uh, you jumping in on this. And uh, again, welcome to the JDC family, my man. Welcome to the JDC family. Um, I'm sorry you couldn't go all the way. <laughs> Not everybody can go all the way, right? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. You are hanging with the Diecast Sheriff. And today, we're going to unbox the Wreckfest Road Cutter made by none other than one of my personal favorites, Flying Valiant. Of Diecast Media Network. And I'm absolutely thrilled to have one of Chuck's fine works, I gotta tell you. Welcome back, Diecast Sheriff. Thank you for entering the first ever JDC Pink Slip Invitation. If you are reading this, that means you are a winner. Congratulations on taking on the competition and claiming Flying Valiant's Wreckfest Chevelle, the Road Cutter. Without customizers like yourself, this event would not be possible. Thank you for participating. Congrats on winning someone's work, and I hope it was enjoyable to watch. Please share a video and send me the link to share with all. Connecting people in the community was part of the goal here, and it was successful. You know, we were supposed to be throwing this blue and red confetti up in the air when all was said and done. And, um... So I'm pretty sad about getting it back. One of my personal favorites right there. That's really, really cool. And 
another real good buddy of mine. That's totally awesome. Didn't think I'd come across one of these so easily. This is uh, this is Chuck's car. So I guess I'm uh, what I'm learning here is that uh, diecast sheriff needs some stickers. That is awesome. Dang, Chuck. Wow. Way awesome. Way cool. casting ways. Hey, uh, I wanted to say thank you for the casting and the sticker. Good luck with the Diecast Media Network. Definitely a uh, shout out to, to King Nut Diecast because, um, hey man, he smoked me in two passes down the track. Uh, shout out to uh, Booty Clean Studios and uh, Caliber 50 Customs, Full Custom Diecast Garage uh, for sponsoring the, the Pink Slip. Also, shout out to all the other builders that participated. Shout out to Gary Shorter. He won everything, including the box I sent my custom in. And uh, <laughs> uh, congratulations, buddy. Jay, thank you so much. The channel is great, man. I know you're going to have your hands full here soon. And it was a pleasure. Thanks for having me and hosting an event. I don't think anybody could host it quite the way that you do. So I look forward each year to the Super Bowl of Diecast. Thanks to Andrew for the sticker. We'll be talking soon, man. I'm sure everybody's wondering, is the Diecast Sheriff going to make more videos? And the answer to that question is yes. Yes, I will be making more videos. The very first video will be to finish this Tonka that I had started and feel like I owe to the community. And then April 5th is the Autism Awareness Build with Matchbox Mark and Diecast International Builders and then Uncle Polly and I from Diecast Graveyard. We're going to do a build. You'll be seeing retro playing paint from Second Chance Red Lines. Further uh, announcements there. And then Ricky from Irifix Diecast. Him and I are going to dig into the Jeep Gladiator. I believe we're both going to do the Four Horsemen build and a build off together. We'll see you soon guys. Peace.